Hi, I'm Dio Engineer Slash. Today I will learn how to connect and use a Slash T transmitter and a Slash Bluetooth receiver. Let's try sending the sound source from the PC. The Slash T transmitter goes into standby mode when powered on. If it blinks three times quickly, it is in standby mode. Click the button to enter pairing mode. Then the blue light will blink. This is the pairing mode state. So, if you click the button at this time, the blue light blinks, indicating that it is in pairing mode. When connected to the slash receiver, the slash TS LED displays in the codec color and stays on. Please wait a moment and the connection will be established. Once pairing with the slash receiver is complete, sound is output from the amplifier. Next, let's learn how to set it up on the PC. If you look at the monitor and right-click on the speaker icon, you will see sound settings. If you look here, it is marked as slash T. If you go into the sub-menu, there are sampling settings. Slash T can be set from 16-bit slash 44.1 kHz to 24-bit slash 96 kHz. The test will be done at 24-bit slash 96 kHz. You can adjust the volume using the master volume on your PC. Also, check the volume when using YouTube on your PC. You can use two volumes. In this way, you can use all slash receiver products. By using slash receiver products and slash T, you can listen with the best sound quality and most conveniently. Thank you for watching.